Hey there guys, what is going on? It is Gil right here back on 59 Gaming Plays and we are here with the leaks. Yes, the leaks for Master Duel are here. A lot of stuff has been brought out thanks to Nintendax, of course, as you guys can see here. And thanks so much to Master Duel Meta for putting all of this information in one place for us to dissect basically we also have some information about how uh, the ranked matches and whatnot we'll talk about that later on let's talk about the leaks though because that's what i think most people are interested in seeing where the game's gonna go what's gonna come it's gonna be very interesting of course if you go on to enjoy this video leave a like subscribe to the channel we'll be dropping a lot of master view content in the coming days weeks and months hopefully of course and of course comment down below what are you guys most excited for would love to see what you guys think of course so yeah let's get right into it shall we first and foremost we have the events and cups coming out soon so basically the first thing on the left hand side we'll look at that uh first and foremost is the cup so we have the xyz cup so only xyz monsters can be used in extra decks synchro cup which is synchro monsters only fusion cup which is only fusion monsters and then a beginner's classic which is vintage cards are all regal enjoy an ent environment that's different from standard so i assume this must be the legacy mode that everybody's been clamoring for and then a rarity limit which i assume as the name suggests would be a, a hard limit on the rarity so you can only take up to sr cards or rare cards or normal cards even which would be extremely interesting so let's talk about the cups first i love the idea i think this is what the game needs especially with like you know having such a wide player base you know current Yu-Gi-Oh players, Yu-Gi-Oh players that haven't played since Synchros, Yu-Gi-Oh players that haven't even touched the game since the original Yu-Gi-Oh. So for me, I think this is perfect because it'll encompass everybody. It'll encompass the whole fan base. You're going to have players who only enjoy fusions, people who only enjoy Synchros, people who only enjoy XYZs. It's kind of a cool concept and I think it'll be done well, I feel. I think this is a great way to go about it. Hopefully they do this in a sort of sub mode. I don't think it'll be part of ranked in any fashion. I think it'll be somewhat of a sub mode, maybe event mode, um, which will come on to in just a second on the right actually, because there's an entire section dedicated to the events. But we shall see. I'm interested to see where this cups uh, mode will land up in. And honestly, I'm super excited about it. Hopefully it adds into also friend deals as well. Because I know so many of my friends and, you know, Discord members who want to enjoy a beginner's mode, you know, or a beginner's mode as in, like, the original classic mode without any synchros, XYZs, links, no none of that. Only just the original normal uh, no normal monster cards, fu uh, fusions, rituals, and that's it kind of thing. So, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it in action. And then let's move on to the events. So we have the tournament, which is basically a group of 50 player compete for ranking. Duels may also include players from other groups. Keep dueling during the tournament period and battle it out with other players in your group for points. So this seems to be something similar to just ranked mode, except it's going to be in a concentrated league format, basically, where you're just going to be facing off against players in your group or other groups and just trying to accumulate the most amount of points. And of course, with each win, you'll get more points. Draws will give 100. And then if you lose, it's, go it's going to be a negative 100 score. So you want to just maximize your points as much as you can in the event, which is kind of a cool concept. Of course, I assume there's going to be rewards for it and whatnot. Um, there seems to be cups awarded, maybe. Uh, maybe there's something to have as uh, in your profile picture or something. Or your profile, I should say, not profile picture. But something to have in your profile, maybe. Um, I think that's a cool concept. Very basic. Reminds me, I wouldn't, it's not, and it, I, I mean, it's been a while since I've touched Kaiba Cup on Duel Links, so it's been over two years, I should say. So I don't remember how exactly the Kaiba Cup worked, but this is a cool concept. I think people will be interested in it. Not, not really something I'm going to say, like, it's something that I necessarily want, but I think it's kind of a cool thing to have nonetheless. The next thing, however, is something I'm even more excited on. Exhibition. Collect medals by dueling. Collect more medals to win corresponding items. You can earn medals even if you lose. Don't hesitate to join. You can rent a deck if needed. So that's something really, really nice. So if you use a loaner deck, you'll only get one medal. If you use your own deck, you'll get two medals. 
Now I'm curious to see, uh, I assume this is gonna be against other players as well. I'm assuming, again, it's part of the event section, I assume it's gonna be part of the event duels. So I assume, again, it's gonna be like you're gonna face other players, and assuming you win or lose, you will get these medals basically. Uh, as it says, you can earn medals even if you lose. Now I'm curious to see what items you'll get. I assume it's gonna be stuff like accessories, maybe a couple of cards available, and maybe gems, like as a total, kind of like how you would have in any other gotcha game basically, where, you know, you do an event, right? Any, any gotcha event basically, and you get medals or items to exchange for stuff. It's gonna be usually gems, accessories, uh, sometimes, depending on the game, furniture, materials for your cards or units, basically. I assume it's gonna be something similar in Master Duel as well, where it's gonna be like, oh, here's a couple of gems, here's a couple of cards, here's a couple of accessories, and that's how they're gonna go about it. I think that's the best way for them to do it, and I think it'll be, well, I think that's the best way to handle it as well, in my opinion. I don't think it's anything too crazy. But I do like the fact that there is something where it's like, oh, you can use your own deck to get more medals, or if you want to use a loner deck, which might be better technically, and you might be able to grind faster with it, you can use the loner deck instead. Win-win for everybody. I think that's well done. I think that's something that's going to be very nice. But honestly, out of all of these three things, the cups, tournament, and exhibition, the cups section is, I think, the most exciting part for me personally. As somebody who uh, is very interested in doing duels, using only fusions and rituals in the future you know especially with friends and you know other members of discord or twitch or anything i think that's perfect for me personally followed by exhibition and then tournament is last for me personally let me know in the comments what do you guys want from this set i'm very curious to see what you guys think and then of course we have profile icons icon frames and new makes of course very nice i'm very excited about this still waiting for that dark magician girl mate please master duel konami please can I get my ma Dark Magician girl for the love of God? You know, I wouldn't mind a lot of other mates as well. I kind of, I, I feel like they've gone a bit kind of basic with this one, you know? I think they could have gone more, maybe like a, uh, I don't know, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon or something. Or a Toon Blue Eyes uh, White Dragon, something like that. I think uh, so something weird could have been uh, done here and I think we, we would have been fine with it. Um, still dope, dope to see them adding more and more accessories as well. You can see some monster arts as well. More accessories, field parts, mage base, and then of course dual fields as well. Um, I do believe like this makes me feel like we're possibly going to get another solo mode as well. Or more solo modes in the near future, hopefully at least. Because a lot of people have apparently been done with their solo mode. I haven't personally, I still have a long way to go. Although I will admit I did take a bit of a break because of Legends Arceus and stuff. But nonetheless, I am really really hoping for more uh, solo mode in the future. Because that'll just give players more gems to farm and uh, more cards to farm even and more decks to work with as well i think that's so so nice of them to you know just give out all these decks i think they just need to do more of that more uh archetypes need to be given their solo mode so that you know players can get a starting point for these cards and be able to take them into rank right after right rather than only limiting it to only like what was it i think it's like seven or eight decks basically that you can get from solo mode i could stand corrected on that of course the editor or you guys in the comments can let me know about that um but yeah i think that would be perfect the other thing that they have mentioned of course is uh one thing that uh, a lot of people have been talking about and a lot of people have been mentioning is effectively an exploit in regards to ranked matches basically. So as you guys can see, currently in ranked duels, players who have reached platinum rank can obtain rank up rewards for silver tier 4 to gold tier 5 at the beginning of the new season by intentionally losing to duels and getting demoted to gold rank before the season ends. To prevent such intentional defeats in competitive play, we are planning to improve the ranked duel systems details on the improvement will be announced at a later date so yeah there's this apparent exploit with ranked duels basically where you can just demote yourself and then get more rewards as a result of that which i think was kind of really really odd and i spoke about it to a friend of mine again and we were i, I just felt it was unfair especially as somebody who's just that only gold five i wrapped up the season at gold five or gold four because i just didn't have the time to grind out to platinum unfortunately um it, it was just kind of odd that there would be such a disparity, especially somebody who could just demote themselves and get the rewards again. So hopefully that, you know, with Konami knowing about this and all of that, hopefully this means that they 
can uh, cla uh, you know clamp down on it basically and uh, figure out a solution for this. Now, of course, they have mentioned that next season onwards, players will you know after reaching platinum tier one, players will not be demoted during the season, which I think is great. But I do believe, like as a whole, players should only be demoted to the lowest tier of that color, basically, or uh, rank, I suppose. So, for example, if you're in platinum tier one, you go down to platinum tier five. If you're in gold one or gold two, gold three or gold four, you go down to gold five. So on and so forth. Same with silver and same with rookie and bronze. I don't, I don't believe that they should go down to the rank below that as well especially gold silver and bronze um i feel it's unfair i don't think it's right at all personally but you guys can let me know in the comments what do you guys think but yeah i think that wraps up a majority of what is to come in master duel and the whole exploit situation regarding platinum rank and uh you know people um uh, effectively forcefully demoting themselves to get more uh gems as a result of it which is understandable you know at the end of the day if there is an exploit that people can take advantage of people will and of course with the gem output from this game i understand that even more so because i do feel like the lack of gems at this point in time and it's definitely understandable so hopefully they do listen hopefully they're keeping an eye out their comps haven't been the greatest but we shall see what's going to happen in the near future hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel comment down below what do you guys think as well of all of this and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.